Good morning, students. Today we will discuss and draw the fate of an animal cell and a plant cell when placed in three different kinds of solutions. That is, isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic solution. So, children, let me first give you the introduction. The isotonic solution is a solution where the relative concentration of water molecules and solute on either side of the cell membrane is the same. Hypotonic solution. In this solution, outside the cell has a lower solute concentration than the fluids inside the cell. Hypertonic solution. In this condition, the solution outside the cell has a higher solute concentration than the fluids inside the cell. So now, let us see what happens to an animal cell when kept in isotonic solution. When an animal cell you can see animal cell we show with a round figure. So when an animal cell is kept in an isotonic solution, you can see there is no change in the cell size and shape. This is because there is no net movement of water molecules across the cell membrane. Similarly, if we see the plant cell, so plant cell you will show the cell wall and inside you will show the cell membrane. When it is kept in isotonic solution, there is no change in the cell structure and shape and size of the plant cell. You can see this is the cell wall drawn, cell membrane shown and we have a big vacuole inside the plant cell. This is the vacuole and on one side we have is the nucleus. So this is the animal cell when kept in isotonic solution. There has been no change in the cell size and the shape. Similarly in the plant cell when kept in isotonic solution there will be no change in the cell size and shape. This is because the net movement of water molecules inward and outward is zero. The amount of water which is going inside the cell is equal to the amount of water which is leaving the cell. So in all we can see that there will be no change in the cell size and shape of the plant and animal cell when kept in isotonic solution. Now, when a cell is kept in hypertonic solution, hypertonic solution, it is a condition where outside the cell has higher solute concentration. So, if a cell is there and outside the cell, the solute concentration is more, so water will move from inside of the cell to outside, which makes the cell look flaccid. So cell will lose its turgidity and it will become little flaccid. So you can see this kind of structure. I mean it will lose its turgidity. An animal cell which was stretched out just like a balloon which is inflated is now looking flaccid. It is flaccid. The condition is called flaccid condition. This is because the water has moved out of the cell because outside water concentration is less inside the cell the water concentration is more so osmosis will occur and what kind of osmosis exosmosis will occur water will move out of the cell to the outside solution which is of higher concentration and leaving to the condition of the cell which is called the flaccid condition the cell becomes flaccid now in a plant cell, 
the cell wall does not change its shape cell wall being rigid in structure so it does not change its shape it maintains its structure right so cell wall is maintaining its structure now water is moving from inside of the cell to the outside so this leads to shrinkage of the protoplasm that is the cell membrane it detaches from the cell wall this is the cell wall and this is the cell membrane so cell membrane it separates from the cell wall the cell membrane separates from the cell wall the vacuole which was of very big size it has now reduced to very small size because all the water from the vacuole has come out the water from the vacuole has come out and nucleus is there nucleus is of same size and the cell membrane it separates from the cell wall the condition of the cell is again flaccid condition and in plant cell we can also call it as plasmolyzed cell plasmolyzed cell it is the cell which is in shrunken state which is flaccid in condition this is because of exosmosis when a plant cell is kept in hypertonic solution a solution which has higher concentration than the concentration which is present inside the cell then the water will move out of the cell so from inside of the cytoplasm and from the vacuole the water is moving out water will move out of the cell and which leads to separation of cell membrane from the cell wall the cell membrane detaches from the cell wall and this state of the cell is called plasmolyzed state or plasmolyzed cell now reverse to the flaccid condition we have is the turgid condition turgid condition is when the cell is fully stretched out now if a cell if a animal or a plant cell is kept in a hypotonic solution hypotonic solution is having lower concentration if the inside of the cell is having higher concentration and the solution in which the cell is kept is having lower concentration then the water will move from solution to the cell and hence the cell is fully turgid it becomes stretched out it becomes maximum in its size and shape and sometimes it may also burst because inside the water pressure is so much that the cell membrane it may burst leading to breakage of the cell this is just like a inflated balloon if you will keep on uh, putting the air inside a balloon the balloon will break out right so this is what is happening with the animal cell also so animal cell it will keep on the water is entering into the animal cell because of endosmosis endosmosis occurs when the animal cell is kept in the hypotonic solution the cell will keep on increasing in size and at a time it may burst right similarly in the plant cell plant cell again because we have as a cell wall surrounding the cell membrane so it does not change its shape much but yes it is also completely stretched out it is the cell membrane is just touching the cell wall it is in connection with the cell wall completely touching the cell wall this is because inside pressure is too much the vacuole is of now very big size all the water has entered into the vacuole there is a nucleus small nucleus on the side but the vacuole increases in size because the water has entered into the vacuole now right so this cell is now again fully distended fully stretched out and the condition of the cell is called turgid condition turgid condition occurs when the cell is kept in hypotonic solution that is a solution which is having 
lower concentration than the concentration which is present inside the cytoplasm and the cell sac. So this is how we draw the diagram uh, of an animal cell and a plant cell when kept in isotonic, hypotonic and hypotonic solution. Right? Thank you children.